Hey everybody, Mushbeard here, back with some more Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. I apologize, it has been so long, I have been incredibly busy, um, and I am nowhere near as far as other people you may be watching. I am, I only farm Wrath 6 when I have time. Um, I did manage to complete the first part of the events that are going on, the Academia Football World Cup training. I've done the, the kill quest for all of them and gotten all the shards. And I should be able to get the summons here today and finish these other parts and get that reward. But the actual football cup is a little more difficult. I did do the fire one. Um, I need, need to do stage 5 of ocean, stage 4 and 5 of aerial, as well as stage 4 and 5 of terra. Which I'm not sure I'll be able to level up enough units in time to do those. But I will give it a shot here, which of course takes away from my wrath farming even more. I definitely need to get more glyphs. Um, so we'll see. I may just forget those and do the glyph uh, farming because I definitely need those so I can progress. I need to be in at least 8 by now, if not closer to 10. So we'll see. But we'll go ahead and do some summons today for the, the stuff that we got. You can see I've got... I summon fairly often, even as free-to-play, and I've still got 2,400 uh, seals right now. So we'll go ahead and buy an uh, advanced soul stone case here to go with the eight or so summons that we had because I've still got enough for farming. I, I had 200 energy that was sitting in my box that I had to pop and I'm burning through that before I level up and I'll get a free refill and keep going. So there's quite a bit of energy out there. So do the events, they give you tons of mana or crystals, energy, all that stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and start summoning then we might try to do some uh, arena at the end here. But we will go, we'll do the one. I did get another Nat 4 since the last time I've made a video. It was just on a random pack the other day. I had like five or six summons just laying around. And I managed to pull the... Uh, what did I pull? The Water Daimo. Daimyo, whatever, however you say it. Daimyo. I'm not sure. Um, I, I mean, it's a good Yudin. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to use it yet. I don't think I can really slot it into my Wrath team. I don't think it brings that much benefit right now, so I don't believe it's really going to get priority. Um, I need to work on other monsters that will be more useful. As you can see, we're getting achievements done here for all these summon quests. So, Fortunately, these are two stars. I'm, I'm not really looking for a four star. Um, I mean, if you can get great ones, good, but I'm, I'm looking for the really good three stars, like the Earth Mana Core. Um, I'll take a Fire Succubus would be nice. Um, stuff like that. It's definitely... Um, those kind of three stars are the ones that I could really use to help progress. Um, as opposed to getting Nat 4. I mean, if I get a Nat 4 that's going to be super useful, um, then, then I'll gladly take it. But uh, I, I I, just not... I don't want to be greedy. I could use those three stars just as much. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get lucky with one of those. No lightning so far. Just pulling your standard stuff here. Imps, unicorns. Um, nothing there, but we are keep doing these quests, so we'll get more stuff. Wolf Cub. Two more of these. More achievements done for summoning. Hey, I'll take it. Another bright fawn. Last of the regular epic sto soul stones here. There we go. Lightning. What do we got? What do we got? Come on, Manicore. Fella, go. I got the, the air one. I don't really see the air one, so... All right, not the one I was looking for, but let's see here. Tax enemies, 60% chance increase. So they take more crits or get crit more. And defense breaks, so that does help. That can that can make for some good arena teams with some uh, nukers and stuff. And attacks an enemy, inflicting great damage, and poisons them twice for three turns. So this could actually be useful for Wrath. It is only single target, but because he is air and on the final stage... The only water element is the actual griffin boss. Um, he has one air and one fire with him. The chances of him poisoning the boss for those two, that, you know, was it three turns? Yeah, twice for three turns. That is pretty high, so I may actually try and build him up here because that could be really good. Um, he's actually not even using a poisoner right now for Wrath 6, so I think going forward... This can actually be, now it wasn't the one I wanted, but hey, it, it could definitely be useful. I don't remember what their upgrades uh, are on those, but we'll, t we'll take a look. We'll start summoning the elemental ones here, and we'll see 
Where are we get? Ooh, back to back lightning. What do we got? Mini golem. Uh, not as great. Um, there are some trick uses. I believe it was Vulcan who used two of these in with not even no glyphs and not even leveled up uh, for arena offense to take out some of the higher level players because of the passive here. Uh, increase it reflects 40% of damage and has a 40% chance of poisoning the enemy attacker. So that I wonder if you could use that in Wrath because. Fire would get targeted a lot, so I don't know if that passive could be useful where you're reflecting the damage back if you built a glyphed it up really well, or, or water basilisk, a very strong unit, um, and also poisoning at the same time, maybe together that could kind of be good. Um, ooh, my first earth nymph, it's actually a really good AoE healer, so I may have to look into that as well, because um, I can always use AoE healers, but... Yeah, I wonder if that, if it was lift well out of, ooh, lightning, what do we got, what do we got? The holy sister, oh, I've got one of her already, I've got a water one that I've already built, uh, I've got the fire one, I believe, that I haven't even had a chance to build, oh, okay, alright, well, we're getting some lightning now, which is good, we'll go back to fire here, and we'll see, anything good. Anything good. Stone guard. Yeah, but that mini goal will be something to look into for later. Or maybe one of the other ones he could be useful for. Um, either benefit or strength, maybe. I will have to look. Let's see. Anything good. Water Bright Fawn, I didn't have one, but haven't seen a lot of them used. I'll have to look at the skills later. Didn't jump out to me right away as something I would definitely need, but Gargoyle Whelp. Alright, we'll do Air Last since Air, I guess, would be more useful for Wrath, although I should be opening uh, Nature Last in case I pull a Felicor, but Snake Fly. Come on, can I pull a lightning at least? Lightning, lightning. No, no lightning. All right. Basilis, I already have one. That's three star. I haven't really glyphed it up, but all right. Two more, and we'll try to do some arena here and show you. I'm in bronze three. Uh, this will be my second week in bronze three. I went up through bronze with one and two fairly quickly. Air Jin. Um, this is the one I thought about building. Well, I thought about building a lot, quite a few of them because crit damage, crit chance, and speed are good. Especially, you can actually pair that with the um, water ninja because it scales it has AOE attack that scales off speed. And if you give it crit rating, crit damage buff, as well as a speed buff, um, and pair that with a defense breaker. So I've got a frost dragon. Um, that would definitely help. Or if you have another one, any other you know AOE defense breaker, um, the felagor that air felicor that could work too um i wonder if it could hit pretty hard so that is something i'll definitely be keeping one for later because i do want to try and build the the water ninja despite people saying it's bad and see how well we can do no lightning on the last summon so another bright fawn okay let's take a look real quick here at the felicor and see what its evolution skills are because I keep forgetting. I'm gonna lock it real quick. What is the Evo skills? Tax enemy, accuracy, and decreasing resistance. Poison. Oh, if I get the poison one, that'd be great. Um, so I gotta hope for that. Let's collect the rewards real quick. More seals those done all right can I get all of them done sweet yes it gives me 25 uh, that's not enough for another summon I don't believe but let's see what this mission is oh hundred creatures of water type well we've got another summon let's pop one more while we're in here yeah I don't have enough shards 80 shards so not enough but we'll pop the last one just in case Come on, no lightning. All right. Sphinx cat. All right, let's do a quick arena and I'll show you. This is the defense team that I use, Frost Dragon. I've 
five star, my first five star is my Nature Colossus. Um, I thought it could be a nuker, but it really has uh, AoE cleanse and immunity for one turn as well as attack bar refill. So it is fairly useful. Um, of course, my Water Holy Sister for cooldown reduction and cleansing as well. So a second cleanser as well as a heal and uh, silence. And then my Air Juggernaut, which I'll probably be replacing in my Wrath team with that Mana Core who ignores defense, but I have it built kind of tanky, so it doesn't deal as much damage, but I usually use it to tank stuff out. Um, it also has turn bar manipulation, so we will see. I've been trying to experiment with a bomb, semi-bomb team. I know the uh, Air Witch is only single bomb, but it is only three turns, so it can, but her third skill actually deals quite a bit of damage on defense breaks, so... Um, I'm looking at this team. I think they're going to outspeed me. So I will skip them. This one we might be able to do. They'll probably outspeed me too, but we'll see. Um, at least this team is more fun. I was doing like a slow team. Well, not slow, but using a... Kind of a tankier team that was just bulkier, but the fights were really long, and I'm still losing a lot of them, so it didn't do any good. And I do have immunity glyphs on my Colossus, so in case they get the first turn, I can try and cleanse if they CC me. So um, what we do here, we cleanse, we buff attack bar, then we buff attack and defense because the Colossus is defense scaling, which is good. I want to... No, I got resisted. Uh, which that definitely hurts. No, and that hurt even more. Getting my cooldowns. Crap. That, uh... This is why I wish I told you what the, you could look at the skills before you went in just so I could plan accordingly because I would have done differently on this fight. Oi, oi. Yep, yep, I died. Well, if it wasn't for cooldown increase, I might have won it, but that's the way it goes. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Alright, so that was a fail. Uh, I just don't know the skills well enough of most of the units to... Cleanse is usually what I'm worried about, not a, not cooldown increase. So, well, we'll take the free fight because I need the points so I don't drop out. I probably should drop down to bronze too just for easier fights. And the bombs will be a lot better, but maybe we can find another team after this. Um, I hate how it doesn't activate just the normal skill, but <clears throat> there we go. Um, but with defense buff on the Colossus, he does a decent amount of damage, especially on it with defense down and his defense buff up. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, his glyphs are not anything spectacular. So let's see if we can find an actual fight here. No, because they're going to outspeed me with the Air Crusader and attack buff. Or attack bar buff. No, the Water Colossus has cleanse. Um, here we go. We'll get elemental. They have elemental defense with the Fire Nymph, but we'll see if that... We can either get in before then, or we can hopefully equal that out with our own attack buff to kind of even it out. But she's definitely going first. That hurt. And the problem with this is when you freeze them and reset their turn, they're going to... God, resist it again. That doesn't usually happen, but we get a stun. We got a stun, but because our damage is lower, uh, we're going to freeze him. Frozen. Oy, this is not turning out well at all. <clears throat> so much for showcasing a single bomb team. These just aren't good teams. I'm not I'm not picking the fights well enough. I, I, sh I knew I was going to get outsped, and that element of defense was going to hurt, but also my water gin is not really glyphed very well so she doesn't survive all that long uh, come on no it's back it's so such a short cooldown there's confusion I wish I had poison but I don't think it's gonna matter this fight I think it's over yep all right so the two fights we actually tried to fight are terrible but this is why I'm still in bronze and will probably drop out I mean, I'm in rank 37, but I was down in the 60s. No, that's a speed team. Don't want to do that. 
No, that's AoE defense ignore. Can I? We'll see. We'll take the chance. Can I outspeed both the, the Fire Nymph and the Fire Succubus? That is the question. Probably not, but just in case. I need to get uh, immunity runes on my dragon and also make it faster, but no. Got us both. They're both going to outspeed me. I'm just going to make this very difficult, especially without my Colossus to back everything up. I need to wait for my dragon. I'm going to bomb the Succubus because it's going to take the most turns. So it's going to pop the bomb faster. Hopefully before the cleanse on. I'm going to try and freeze. It just did not work. Wait, it. she already did it? Oh, I almost killed her. She already, it's her second buff, man. Terrible, terrible. I am so bad at this game. I might just cut this part out. <laughs> No, you know I don't do that. I show you all the fails, too. There's got to be a team where I'm, this was working very well this morning when I cleared my first 10 wings. Uh, that's not going to work, I don't think. Let's try it. I mean, I'm going to get embarrassed by losing 4v3, but hey, let me show you. This is where probably having two bombers would be better or someone who can activate the bomb. Um, but an attack, that succubus was tanky because an attack buff bomb from my witch does over 10k which should kill a lot of things. They have immunity, don't they? No, they don't. That's, I can't see most things. Here we go, let's bomb you. Defense. Stun. Stun. Try and kill you. Uh, pop that, come on. Got him again. Blew her up. It's kind of working this time. But that cub could still kill me, I'm sure. With uh, when his little summoner goes. Because I don't deal that much damage, but defense break will help. There we go. Ooh, I did manage to win it. You can kind of see how it worked that time where the bomb blew the angel up. 10k, it was like 10,400 or something like that. It's not bad. I definitely don't have great glyphs on my witch, so. We'll try one more here. No, that's a speed team. That Colossus is, or that Faceless will wreck me. That's also a speed team. I won't show you those. I'll fight those off camera. Um, no, I feel, no, I fought no one before. These are all people from last week, I think. I need to get these free fights in. Free ranking. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Jumped out of it. Jumped out of it. Here we got one. Two fire tree ants. This could be interesting. So they're making this a tanky team. So I need to kill the tree ants because they have the healing. Um, but they don't have cleanse or anything. So we will see if it will work against this team. They'll both be attacking my Colossus. I should have first turn. We're gonna buff. We're gonna bomb the tree. Defense break. Try and stun and do some damage. Hit you. We're gonna try and freeze this. Did not get the other freeze. Thankfully, I didn't get taunted. We're gonna kill him without even. Uh, oh, I'm taunted. Oh, we killed him. I don't want the heal. I don't want the heal. The other guy's gonna die. He, well, he'll die before the bomb. So we didn't even get three turns. We didn't even get to do it. But the crowd control and the AOE damage did kind of work there. So it does work. Um, of course, if you have better glyphs, or if it, it would work better. But if you're in higher rank, it may not. So. It's just more fun for me. I like to have bomb teams. I think they're interesting now that they've been buffed with the stun and everything. So, always fun to try it out, and that's why we play the games, right? But that is it for this episode, everybody. You'll probably see that air felicor in my next video because I will be raising that up and seeing how I can slot that into my wrath teams. Um, but like I said, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mushbeard. I am out.